Okay, so what is going on guys and welcome back to my channel. So um, this is for people who are fairly new to the server and do not know how the auction house on the Love of Fellas server works. So in this video I'll be showing you everything and I mean everything you need to know about the auction house on the Love of Fellas server. And if you want to join the Love of Fellas server, um, look here's the IP just right here. No that's not the IP. Um, the IP is uh, play.loveoffella.com. Come join, come play with me. But um, yeah, let's just get started. So firstly, I'm going to be showing you how you can sell your items on the auction house. So firstly, I'm just going to get, let's just get a daily key, which you can get by doing slash daily. You get one every six hours. And if I wanted to put this on the auction house where people can buy it, I would do slash R, which stands for auction house, list, because we're listing it on there, and then the price I want. And this would sell for about 20,000. So 20. One, two, three. Always make sure you put the right amount of zeros in. Trust me, so many people accidentally put the wrong price in and someone just buys it for too cheap. So do, do be careful. So I'm gonna, just going to list that. So that is now on the auction house for 20,000. So if we do slash R, uh, slash AH, we can actually see my key here. And so let's say I actually didn't want to sell it for 20,000. I wanted to sell it for more. I'd right click it and then this comes up and then I click confirm. Look at that, it's back in my inventory, there it is. So now let's go back into the auction house and let's say I wanted to buy a daily key. So you'd left click it and then click the green die. So I've just brought that, but as you can see it hasn't gone into my inventory. So let me show you how to actually get it. So you click your head down here, it'll be different for everyone so depending on what your head is, it will show it down here. So you click on that and you get greeted with five different things. Now you want to go into the yellow shulker box and this is a collection box where you can claim everything you've brought. So if I click on that, there's a daily key I just bought. So now I can claim that. And so now the other things on here, there's a watch list. This, it's literally, there's no need for it. It's so, so useless, so do not worry about that. However, expired items, let's say I listed my, my daily key for like, maybe like 50,000 and now I bought it. So it would, after six hours, after six hours, it would expire, and it would just pop back in here. So if you notice nothing sold, after, like the thing you listed hasn't sold after six hours, just pop in here, and you should see your item there. I've just got loads of brand junk. Um, yeah, loads of brand junk. Okay. Um, active listing. So let's go back. So now let's actually do slash a uh, list. So now we've got two. So we can do forty thousand. So now. You click on this and there's our two daily keys so when they sell someone's just bought it and i don't think you would have seen my money go up but someone has just brought it and so now if i actually go into this sign right here so your history i can see this so it, it does take like literally five seconds to pop up should pop up any second now there we go so you can see all these things i bought like look at that bottle like a special potion a strawberry hat <laughs> loads of lucky gems now this is where i listed my first key and look can you see it says listed and then i deleted i then purchased one for 19,000, and the poster was planted bark as you can see just by where it says item name daily key it also tells you exactly when you bought it so what time i bought it that's wrong it's not it wasn't 4 53 p.m. it's 5 53 p.m. but it, let's just ignore that and then also um, the ones that I just listed so the two I listed for 40,000 and the person who bought it which is no because that is a glitch where it doesn't actually show you who bought it but there's still a few more bits I can talk you talk to you about so let's say this is the main page of the auction account so if you click this arrow down here it will take you to the next page and then the next page and the next page and it'll just keep going see it keeps going up so we're at 20 and it keeps going up and the further you go that's where like the really bad priced items are look this is about to expire in actually um 45 seconds it's so, like these stuff are pretty pretty bad priced because yeah oh special wedding cake sorry nice right anyway now look oh let's actually look at this book so use slash auction list price to list an item right click your item in this menu to remove its listing uh, you can view your experience items by clicking your player head to the left. So, um, I'll show you more in detail how to do that. Um, ah, this. Look at that. So, price. I, I, it is confusing because it actually doesn't... It actually... It's so weird when you click price. But I'm pretty sure what this is showing. 
this is showing some of the really most expensive stuff. So we've got a, a spruce store for 100 million. Um, and like this is like ridiculously expensive stuff. But um, yes, it is really messed up actually. But I'm pretty sure. No, if I, if I, yeah, it is in terms of price order. So it goes from cheapest to most expensive. So the cheapest is this for one dollars, and having go forward a bit, and then there's those for four, four thousand. Then these for twenty-five thousand. You see the price going up. You see what I mean? So if you want to look for something for a certain price, that's what you do. Alphabetical obviously sorts it in alphabetical order. I think it doesn't look like it's in alphabetical order. Not sure what's up with that. Um, look. That's, that begins with an R. That begins with a C. That begins with a C. That begins with an I. It... It tries to be in order, but I think it's messed up, sort of. It's roughly in order, but not exactly. So, um, yeah, that also is an error. Um, if you click this, so you can actually click this. So if you just wanted to buy, uh, let's just say you just wanted to buy some food. You click this all the way down to where it says food, where the food is in green. Then it shows you all the food you can buy. I drop to actually go back, you can right click. Um, and it'll bring you back up, but um, I can left click all the way down if I want to buy some spawners, look at this, all the spawners show up there, isn't that good? And then, if I want to buy some runes, I can get all the runes up on the screen. If I want to buy, um, if I want to buy crate keys, there we go, here are all the crate keys, so you can flick all the way through and you can see every key that has been listed, and then if I want to buy some enchanted books, there you go. So, um, yeah, I think that is literally it for this video. Just a quick little explanation of how to use it for the noobs on the server. But, um, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you found it useful if you are new to the server. Um, do join my Discord server, by the way. Link in the description. Also, possibly, um, I might have added a couple of other links as well. So just go follow me on all my other social media. But um, yeah, enjoy your day, and I'll see you next time.